All right, I did this the other day as a simpler kind of a mandala that could also be used to do your four different color harmonies. Um, a monochromatic, a complementary, etc. Been through this on another tape video. <clears throat> And then I thought, you know, I should probably make it even simpler. And then I thought, well, I can just look up a compass rose on YouTube and I don't have to do this. Well, the compass rose that people are using on YouTube is quite different than this one, which utilizes a compass <laughs> instead of just a ruler. A compass rose, as they're defining it, is simply something that has eight points to it. We're working on the six-pointed one that has to do with the relationship of the radius to the circumference of a circle. All right, so right here, I believe that this is nine inches square. Um... I'm just going to do another compass rose right here. In order to find the center, we can just make a big X, but we need a bigger X to make it with. And looks like I ran off with my pencil. Don't do this. We're in the do as I say and not as I do territory. Just don't do this. Use the pencil in your compass. You want to keep that sharp for when you need it. Not use it for other stuff. Okay. I'm going to largely do a compass design here for a younger student. Then I'm going to do one with four smaller ones for older students who might be able to do four different designs. But right here, I'm doing what I call a compass rose. Here is a circle. I have drawn, whoops, the diameter, the circumference of the circle. This is the radius. Two of them is the diameter. Oh, I do need to brace this thing here. That's why I'm demonstrating this. It's really hard for kids. Now, I do want to find the middle up here. I'm going to put this on pause and go get my pencil. Am I recording now? Yeah, okay. So, that wasn't hard at all. Um, this is going to be halfway across, I think. One, two, three, four and a half inches. Okay. So, One, two, three, four and a half inches. So that's where my top is going to be. Okay. Now, I want to make my first mark on here, right there. I'm going to go all the way around the circumference. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm, not too well. Okay. This is what I call a compass rose. Now you go to the next one with this point of the compass and you do the same thing really carefully, slowly. Okay. Go to 
go to the next one, do the same thing. You can go a little bit past it because pi is 3.14 and you're going to wind up with something left over. Okay, there you go. There. And then here. And then here. Oops, slipped a little. Notice that they all go right through the center. Okay. And then we're going to go here. And we're done. That is what I call a compass rose. Now, you can break it up more. You can go from the points of the rows around. Points of the rows, not the other things. Now you've got some smaller areas to do something colorful in. Okay. You can get fancy. And go down here. And decide to put a little circle at each point just for fun and keep it the same size though and I'm going to bring it all the way into this uh, hexagon that we have here but you can have a lot of fun designing with a compass And learn a little bit more about the incredible beauty of math. You know, which came first, a circle or 360 degrees? <laughs> How come nine's so special? See, it is difficult to do. You have to hold it perfectly straight. Keep that thing, this thing poked into the middle. It's not real, real sharp. Oh, well, that's kind of pretty. And then, I don't know. It's up to you. But that's how to do a basic compass rose. Have fun with your compass. It'll go around six times. It'll, it'll work for you. I'm always telling you that. Put the water down. Let it work for you. Get your compass right. Let it work for you. <laughs> it's like, go with the flow. All right. I'd say this is a two thumbs up. <laughs>